All right, today we're going to do a different twist on the modified contour hand drawing. Instead of just drawing the hands in different positions, we're going to draw the hands holding simple objects. Um, this is a little more complex, uh, but it's done the exact same way you've done your modified contour drawings. Now, one thing I don't want you to do, please don't go drawing the object and then trying to throw fingers on here, okay? That's not what we want you to do. Also, we don't want you to do some elaborate hand drawing, okay? And then try to tr put the object in behind the fingers. We want you to draw each line as you see it. So let's go ahead and start. Uh, I've got my hand wrapped around this object. I want it not in a hand open like this. Also, I don't want you to pick some gigantic object that hides all of your fingers. We want your fingers to be wrapped around it, okay? So the same rule is going to apply, and I'll probably have to move the object around a little bit on the screen. But what I'm going to do is first, I'm still going to close one eye to flatten the image. I'm going to fasten my eye where my wrist meets my hand, and I'm going to begin drawing. So I start moving up the hand, and I'm going a little faster than I normally would for a modified contour drawing, just for the sake of your time. I come up to the thumb. Uh, there's a thumbnail, it breaks the outside edge, I come in, I come back, I go over, I look at my paper while I trace over this line, and then I'm going to finish up the thumb, and again I'm going to go kind of quick today, just for the sake of your time. Come in, get this. Now all of a sudden, here's the object, I have a choice, I can either go all the way back up the thumb, or start going down the object. I'll, instead of me going all the way down the object, I'm going to wait, because what if I go too long or go too short, I might mess up the bottom. So I'll, do, I'll start the object, but I'm not going to finish it all the way. So I'm going to go back up the thumb, okay, until I get to the other side of the thumb where the glue bottle is, okay? So I come back on over, and I am right here, okay? So here's where the object is. So I go straight up, and instead of drawing what I think I see, I'd be tempted to say, oh, it's a rectangle. Let's make an angle here. No, it's curved. So I'm going to curve it over. And I'm doing this part of the glue bottle. And it's not a flat line. It's still curvy. It's still curvy. It's still curvy. And I'm going to draw it until I get to where the index finger is. Well, the index finger right here that I'm wiggling, it's right here. It cuts off that corner of the glue bottle. I'll go ahead and curve it up. Come back around. There's a little bit of a fingernail here, just a little bit. So I'll come back in and suggest that little bit of the fingernail. Come back out, and then I start getting this bit of the knuckle. I come back here, and then I stop because the lid, and you wouldn't pick up your pencil point like I did, but this lid is in the way of the finger. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down. I'm going to draw this. There's a curve here, so I'm going to draw this curve that I see as I see it. Again, I only look at my paper every once in a while. I can come back up. This is straight. I stop. Look at how I'm doing. I'm doing great. I curve on over. This curve's going to be kind of parallel to this one, but I'm only drawing what I see as I see it. So I keep going over. If I make a mistake and I don't like what I've got, I can always correct it. Like, for instance, I can come back over here, go a little further over, come straight down. I don't worry about erasing it. I'm going to come over, and I'm going to trace with my eye again to make this a little prettier. There we go. I fixed it. But I'll leave the mistake there. There's another little line right here. It runs parallel to this one. And I come down. Now, if I'm going to get the tip of the bottle, I come over. I go in a little bit. I go up. I curve over slowly. Slowly. I look at my paper every once in a while. Slowly stop. Come straight back down. There's a line that goes parallel to it, too. So I'm drawing every line I see it as I see it. Now, I'm coming up here to do kind of like what I call the bullet point of the glue dispenser. It's angling upward a little. It's curving over. It's stopping early. It's angling back down. Stop and look to see make sure it hits. Come back up. Hit the very tip of the bottle. Up. Come back. Now, there's a bunch of lines in here. I'm not going to do that right now. Maybe at the end I will, because if I do that, my left brain's going to be making a pattern. I don't want to draw a pattern. I want to draw what I see as I see it. Same thing down here. There's a lot of lines. I'll save that for the end and maybe add that in. Now, if I want to add in this little bit of thickness right here, I can do that. I just slowly, again, I try to move my pencil, light my eye, slowly tracing what I see. So I come back over. Now, let's get to the harder part. 
harder points. The fingers. I come back over. Now where the glue bottle picks back up, it curves down, runs into here. So the finger is wrapped around this thing. So I'm going to go into the finger that's wrapped around it. It curves. I curve it over. I don't draw the fingernail because it doesn't break the outside edge. I come up. It's angling back this way. Stop. Okay, it's making another little bump. It's making a knuckle. And notice that this line is going back behind the glue bottle. And there's a little bit of a line right there. So see, this makes it look like the finger is wrapped around the glue bottle. I'll show you what some people do to symbolize that here in a minute. It looks really bad. But let's come back down. All right, now we're ready to do the other finger. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the knuckle first. So it comes up, over, curves in a little, curves out some more, curves in some more. Now notice that this finger sticks out a lot further than this one, right? So when I draw it here, I'm going to come further out. So again, don't pick up your pencil point. Just keep on going. It's a little further. Okay, curve it up. Curve over. It changes a little bit. It starts curving back, goes back behind here, and I stop. I look at my paper, and I trace back over where I was. I don't worry if this, this finger is probably a little too small compared to this one, but right now I'm not worried about proportions. I'm more concerned about the accuracy of what I draw. Now, my pinky is about right here, so I come down, over. It's shorter than the ring finger. Curve. It's angling back. It's curving in, it's making a little bit of a knuckle, and it hits here. And this isn't perfect, but it's close. I come back over. I want to get the bottom of the glue bottle now. Come on over. Curve, curve, it's curving up, curving up, and then it'll stop here, and then it connects with that line that I made earlier. I was kind of afraid of going too far down. Good thing I did. Now, I don't worry about drawing the cow or, or writing Elmer's glue on here. That's a, The left brain would love to do that. Now, if you want to draw the shape of this label, you could totally do that. Like, for instance, if you were here and you're like, okay, the label's right here, you could come over, curve it, come up. You can go pretty straight. It runs into the thumb. Again, it's a good discipline to only draw what you see as you see it. Notice it lines up right here. Continue up. It curves over. Goes over, goes slowly, stop every once in a while, check and see how you're doing. Okay, it curves, it comes straight down, straight down, trace back over. Notice I'm not using x-ray vision, I didn't draw a line all the way through the finger. I came back here and drew this. And what I've drawn, well, I need to finish up one more thing. As I come back down, I want to finish up the hand that is underneath the glue bottle. So the hand is right here. Now, I've changed my hand position several times while I've been talking to you. So it's not going to look right on my drawing. It's going to look way too skinny because this should be a lot wider than what this is. But again, I've been talking to you, so my left brain's been working, so it doesn't look 100% accurate, but still a pretty decent job. Um, if I want to go back in later and add the fingernails at the end, I can. But the most important thing is, is I draw what I see as I see it. Um, one last thing I'll tell you is that sometimes when people draw these objects, and draw an object. They draw the fingers as if they are flat pieces of paper. Like notice how like there's no thickness of a knuckle coming off this object. It's as if this as if the finger is a piece of paper that perfectly wraps around the object. Well, when you wrap a finger around an object, it goes behind the object, it comes onto the object and has some thickness outside of the boundaries of that object. So, I hope that this demonstration has been helpful to you and best wishes with your drawing endeavors.